Brian, what are you doing in, uh, in today's market? Are you viewing this as a buying opportunity? Um, I think definitely overseas, I and mean, we had about a 10% correction already. Some things sold off pretty aggressively. So I think if you're already invested, it's probably a good time to add. Um, or if you're just getting invested, take advantage of it. Now, I don't, I'm not quite sure all the selling's over yet. Um, we're having a lot of volatility here, only a 2 3% correction. Like Jonathan said, that's not a huge correction, so there's no reason markets couldn't sell off further here, even if we're in a bull market, which I think we are. Drilling down into some of the names that have specifically been hit because of these coronavirus fears. We had a lot of the travel stocks. Now some of the casinos are being hit. We had news out today that uh, Macau is shutting down all of its casinos for the next two weeks. After we've seen some selling within these two sectors, are you seeing any buying opportunities with some of these names? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, a lot of these sectors are down 10 percent. And I'm, I'm a brave man. I'll even say oil here, which has just gotten hammered. We officially hit a bear market yesterday. It hit that 20 percent correction territory. I mean, Exxon now trades at 15 times forward earnings, cheaper than the market. You get a fat dividend over five, close to five and a half percent. Uh, even those master, master living partnerships would also have gotten hit really hard here, trading really cheaply. So I think all of those things are a great buy, and you have to take the bad news and take those opportunities to get this stuff why valuations are so cheap. How many, we're going to talk about oil later on in the show, but we've been talking about the potential for how oil could fall because we could see that drop in demand because of the coronavirus. How yeah. big of a downside risk do you see this being for crude at this point? I mean, the market's forward looking, so it's already factor that in because China is such a big part of global demand, especially global uh, demand growth. So as long, I mean, it was, we already see that, so we're already getting that selling. So I'm saying buy now while that price that's already being priced in, you know, okay. be more forward looking.